Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Tosh Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts Podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. All right, I want to welcome back John Salter to the show. Has a huge fight coming up here against Rafael Lovato, man. You're finally going to get the chance to fight this guy, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Uh, that last training camp got all the way to the end and got uh, suspended by the commission for an uh, eye issue. So now we're good to go and uh, finally going to make this happen. You know, he, he gets a lot of credit for his jiu-jitsu game, and rightfully so. He is one of the, you know, one of the very best practitioners out there. Uh, however, you know, you, you're, not, you're not a slouch yourself, man. You are more than capable of hanging with uh, Lovato step-by-step, step, I believe. Do you feel like you're kind of not getting the respect that you deserve in terms of the grappling department? Because you're, you're an absolute killer as well. Yeah, you know... Um this thing he's a legend in the sport of jiu-jitsu so obviously everybody knows all of the accomplishments you know that he's had in the past and sorry there's some planes flying over right now no worries but uh but you know he, he's a stud on the ground and I, I expect him to get the recognition for that but you know i think uh i don't compete as much in the jiu-jitsu world so uh, you know it's kind of on me that that i don't get the, the credit i guess that i necessarily uh should but you know when i do compete i win and, um, you know, perfect example is us beating two world champs in the uh, ADCC trials. So, you know, I think um, we're right there on the same level. So it's going to make for a great match on the ground. Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, uh, when, when did you uh, get out to, uh, to Boise? Uh, well, you know, I live in Wilmington, North Carolina, where the hurricane hit. So mm-hmm. we had to come out a little early to get ahead of the storm, make sure we didn't get uh, our airport shut down on us. So um, we got out here on Friday. So we've been out here a while now. Uh, by the time the fight hits, we'll have been here a week. But it's uh, it's nice out here. We're really enjoying it. What have you been doing? Uh, in, in, I know that you probably don't have much downtime, but have you been have you had a chance to uh, enjoy any of the activities out there? Or has it been all business? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the first couple of days I had to finish up my camp, hit a couple of hard workouts. But, um, you know, other than that, it's been kind of, you know, relaxed, get, get prepared for the fight. So, you know, just short workouts every day. So we've had a lot of time to kind of get around and do some things. Uh, earlier on, we went for a, for a hike that was really nice, and uh, just kind of seeing some of the sights here. It's a really nice city, so we've been enjoying ourselves. Did you do anything different in this camp to prepare for Lovato? Uh, well, compared to other camps, yes, but uh, compared to my last camp getting ready for him, I really kind of think at the end of that camp I was perfectly prepared to fight him, so I just kind of redid that, and basically the big difference is Lovato's a long guy, so I've got to get guys with his, with his length. And it's really hard to find guys that can give me his kind of look on the ground. So I've had to be looking for guys like that just to be prepared for the fill uh, of Lovato in the cage. Did you bring anybody in specifically to, to help you train in that area? Um, well, I've got uh, I've got several long guys that, that can match his reach, uh, can match his height, stuff like that. But what I had to do uh, is I had to go to Nashville to get up with some guys that have his kind of height with high-level jiu-jitsu because that's hard to find. You know, there's guys that are tall and they're tricky in jiu-jitsu, but to find guys that are his height, that are, uh, you know, winning IBJJF tournaments, which is what you got to look for, then, you know, I had to do some traveling for that. For sure. Now, uh, man, you're, you're on a tear. You, you've won seven in a row, I believe. This, You know, if, if things go your way on Friday, it'll be eight straight. Do you believe that this essentially is a, a number one contender's fight here in the middleweight division? Yeah, I don't really see a way that it wouldn't be. I think uh, at this point, uh, you know, I've been on a, a pretty good run here. Uh, everybody they put in front of me, I've finished. Um, out of my five uh, straight wins in Bellator, um, uh, you know, four of them have been in the first round. They've all been finishes. And then um, when, uh, you know, with Lovato, he's undefeated, so he's such a, such a high-level guy to beat. You know, I think uh, it definitely puts me right there. 
Are you uh, are, are you gonna try to get it done a certain way, man? Would it be sweeter to submit him, or are you gonna try to knock him out? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, a win's a win. That's what I'm looking for. You know, which uh, whatever opportunity presents itself, that's what I'm gonna take. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I appreciate your time, John. I know that you are super busy, especially you know just a few days out now. I'd like to give you a few minutes here. Shout out your uh, coaches, teammates, sponsors, whatever you'd like, man. Floor is yours, John. Yeah, um, you know, I uh, want to thank uh, my sponsors of the Felix uh, Jiu Jitsu Wear and then uh, Natural Healthy Concepts, Oak Grove Technologies, and uh, Greenling Clean. Um, you know, my gym, uh, Salty Dog Jiu Jitsu. If you're in the uh, Wilmington, North Carolina area, come check it out. And then all my training partners, uh, you know, uh, Corey Crumpler, uh, Derek Brunson, Jamie Pickett, Alan Bowes, Joe Selecki, and just a handful of other guys that uh, Chad Hardy coming out helping me out a lot. My coach, Sean Hammonds. Really appreciate all those guys. So I uh, got a lot of help from them. Well, I can't wait, man. It's a, it's a very deep card, and you're right there in the co-main event. I can't wait. I think that you guys are easily going to be fight of the night. No disrespect to anybody else, but uh, I just can't wait for you guys to, to finally uh, settle this thing, man. I appreciate you doing this, Jen. Best of luck to you, sir. All right. Thank you so much. Take care, man. <laughs>